Tables with nothing but text and nothing extra are boring. What we could do is actually add links and images to our tables and matrices right in Power BI. If you come from an Excel background where you want to be able to get you know, your nice tables and matrices to get as granular bit of information as possible, but really want to add those tables and matrices to the next level with perhaps dynamic images or links that you can get back and dive into those original sources of data and get more information out of them, or maybe even dive down a tangential path that you would want your users to kind of go down. So you, we have all of that available to us right here in tables and in matrices. It's all part of Power BI. Here's an example. I actually created a report in Power BI. It's a very simple data set. This is a directory of bridges that exist in each county of Florida. And I've actually filtered it down to only be counties that are nearby where I live. Okay, I live in Northeast Florida in the Jacksonville area. And these are all the nearby counties here. With all these nearby counties, I want to look at the number of bridges that exist. All right, this is just free public data, anyone can access this data. This example actually came up before in the past on a hackathon. One thing that we do at Pragmatic Works are these things called hackathons, they're amazing. It's basically a full day of training with your data set and we help you build your Power BI report that you need. Or it could be Power Apps, it could be Power Automate, whatever it is. In this case, I actually had a perfect use case of this is why I thought about doing this quick little video on it is where I was working for a local school district and this school district wanted to have links to every one of their schools as available here and an icon that represented their school, like a, their, their school page icon or whatever that was listed in a table and a matrix. This exact use case came up in one of these hackathons. We did eight hours of building your Power BI report from the ground up with any of your data sets. We'll load it into Power BI, do any transforms, apply it to a data model, build relationships, build measures, build visuals, make the report work, add conditional formatting, do cool tricks like these uh, web URLs and icon or image URLs as well. That was a hackathon where we did basically this example, except for bridges, it was for school. So hackathons are a really amazing product that we offer. I wanna see how many bridges exist for each one of these. In my little table that I have, I can add something like this count of bridges measure, which is effectively just a count rows of the table. And you can see I have my counties, my county names, and my count of bridges, right? Really straightforward there of how many exist. And next to that, in this data set, I have an icon URL and a contact page for actually each one of those specific counties. So each one of these would work that way. What I really need to do is enhance this in a way where I can make it to where these links are clickable or maybe even display an image. So to accomplish that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this table that I have. And let's actually go ahead and take a look at these data sources. So these data sources, just FYI, because I will be sharing these files. If you're like, what are what are these things? If I look at the transform data, these are actually just all, this is all information I pulled from the internet to make this simple table. I made a simple table with just images of a county and their perspective icons from this website. It's called 411 Telephone Directory. That was actually the website where I just wanted to get a list of all counties in the state of Florida associated with each county name uh, and their contact pages. And then this is the actual free data set that I'm using for this, which is Florida Bridges. All the bridges that are in the in the state of Florida are located here, what county they're a part of, what district, what structure, whatever it is, okay? And effectively, all I did was merge in those extra columns. So I merged in the icon and the contact page. I also added this custom column for state because uh, when I was putting it into a map visual, there's multiple counties or there's multiple states that contain the same county name. So if I didn't use state, it actually had a little bit of problems there, but these are all ones specifically for Florida. So if you get this PBIX file and you want to do the same thing and maybe come in here and modify which counties are being utilized, then just know that that's where I got all of this from. Here I am back on my, back on my table visual and I have two specific columns I wanna modify. Let's look at the icon first, okay? This icon is just a URL to text URL of a website, right? So if I hit copy, copy value, and I open up a web browser right here, and I paste it in, you can see this is what Union County looks like and the associated cities and towns that are within it, all right? And if I look at Clay County, as one more quick example, pull it into a website URL, go to this one, and this is what Clay County looks like. So effectively, I just want these icons to populate here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to actually modify the associated data type of this column. So I'm going to choose on this column. It's called icon over here on the right side. 
Once I have it selected, I can go to data category. Once I change the data category, I can select this as an image URL. Watch what happens. Now, suddenly I have this image URL for each one of my counties, right? This, isn't that awesome how I could actually see each one of those on here too? And perhaps I could even make these icons bigger if I wanted to. Go ahead in the format paintbrush. I'm just gonna search for image. See, so there's an image height here. What if I just make it like much better, right? So now I can scroll down and see each one of these counties that exist here in my report looks great. And I'm really happy with that. And it was that simple, right? And I could click on Baker County as an example, and it would highlight Baker County in my map visual. I could click on Clay County and multi-select with Bradford County just to show those are individual ones. You know, it all kind of works out nice and neat and easy right here. That's how easy it is to make an icon appear from an image URL right here in Power BI. Now, what if I wanted to make these contact pages? What if I wanted to make these clickable? Well, very similar concept. I could go to the contact page in the data pane, have it selected, go up to data category, switch this data category to web URL. Now it's a clickable link, right? So now I could click on one of these like bakercountyflorida.org and open up in a new window. And this is what it opened, right? I could click on Bradford County, Florida, and it opens up Bradford County. There it is, right? That simple. What I could even do to enhance this even more is maybe your website URLs that I include here aren't nice and clean like these ones. A lot of times when we're using web URLs as data source, there's a very long hyperlink URL to it. A really easy, quick and quick and easy solution to that is with this visual selected, I could go back into my format visualizations pane, go down to URL icon and turn it this values to on. And now it's just a nice little clickable item here. So if I click on this contact page, this little link, and it'll bring me to that, that page, right? And click on clay, bring me to that page. Nice and easy, really nice and clean way that you can get this set up and work exactly like you need it. So if you're an Excel head that wants to take what you know in Excel, use tables, use matrices, and be able to further your skill set inside Power BI, make sure you also check out our Excel to Power BI Learn with the Nerds that we had on our YouTube channel. It is an amazing way that you can even start doing some Power BI type items within Excel before even moving to Power BI, such as using the Power Query, such as using DAX and building relationships directly from Excel first before you even touch Power BI. And then that whole Learn with the Nerds goes over how to apply it to Power BI and use it. So make sure you check it out. It's really awesome if you're into that. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. My name is Nick Lee. I work for Pragmatic Works. It is a pleasure to do this video for you guys, and I will see you again soon.